All right, we're using some old results and some uh, new techniques, and we'll see which one works out better. So use the magnetic field of a circular loop to obtain a magnetic field on the axis of a rotating disk. Show that the magnetic show that the dipole field with the dipole moment you found is a good approximation if z is much much greater than r. All right, let's draw it out. We see that we have a disk that's rotating about the z axis with the uh, angular velocity omega and surface uh, charge sigma. All right. So the total charge on the shaded ring is dq equals sigma times 2 pi r uh, dr. Um, the time for one revolution dt is just 2 pi over omega. Good to go there. So the current is the uh, quotient of these, uh, which gets rid of the 2 factor of 2 pi and puts an omega there. So we end up with uh, sigma omega r dr. The magnetic field of the ring for points on the z-axis is defined by db is equal to mu naught over 2 omega or uh, sigma omega r uh, times the uh, factor here of r squared over r squared plus z squared to the 3 halves dr z hat. Integrate this to find the field. Uh, we get a pretty quick integral here. Just let u equal r squared. Therefore, du is equal to 2r dr. Solve that for r dr or excuse me, that should be one half du equal r dr. Uh, notice here that the limits change because if I plug in capital R for u, I get capital R squared. Zero, I get zero. So we don't have to resubstitute back in after. Uh, then just uh, calculate through. We get this uh, pretty quick thing to evaluate. And we get that the field, magnetic field is mu naught sigma omega over two times r squared plus 2z squared divided by square root of r squared plus z squared minus 2z in the z hat direction. All right, now looking at this in terms of the limit for z greater than r, we get this uh, nasty approximation, which I would suggest you look up in a table or something useful like that. And then we see that it boils down to r, big R to the 4 over 4z cubed and if we substitute this in, we get that the field is approximately mu naught uh, sigma omega r big R to the fourth uh, divided by 8z cubed z hat. All right, but we know that the magnetic field of the dipole is mu naught m over 4 pi r cubed uh, 2 cosine theta r hat plus sine theta theta hat. We know for points on the axis that theta equals 0, r equals z, and, z, and uh, r hat equals z hat. So we've seen this before in another problem. Plug those in, they cancel away, and we're left with mu naught m over 2 pi z cubed in the z hat direction. And in this case, m is pi sigma omega r to the fourth over four. So the magnetic field of a dipole is in agreement and thus a great approximation. And the dipole moment's much easier to find.